Hey traders, so today we had an incredible trade in the stock market. I want to share with you the live recording of that trade from the live stream at activetraders.chat. We took over a point and a half out of the stock and we're done trading by 1030 in the morning. That is the reason why I became a full time trader, the best job in the world. Anyway, I'll make sure to comment and explain things as you watch me take this trade live. Let's get to the video. All right. So this morning we had a good start. We identified gappers, movers, basically the stocks that we wanted to keep an eye on. Now Xnet wasn't on the top of the list, but we did have it up in another monitor because we knew that this was a runner that we had played with and we had made money on in other weeks. Now as you can see, Xnet had spiked quite a bit in the morning and has just been coming off of those highs near 1340. Now if you watch the video I posted on 4 day trading strategies for beginners, you'll know that the first piece of the setup that we look for is the spike up, also known as the expansion or discovery phase. Next, we want to see the consolidation. And then using the analysis that we teach in the live trading room, we can pinpoint with a high level of accuracy the location where buyers and sellers are going to have to make a decision. In other words, we can place our stop loss. We can pick our entry point and then we can start looking at our profit targets. This way we can calculate the risk that we have on the trade. It seems like a lot to take in, but just watch as this unfolds. Okay, is there anything good on Xnet here? Are we starting to get a bit of a triangle pattern? Now I identified a triangle pattern here and I drew those lines in. This becomes the basis for our trade. Now we try to find balance inside of the volume using the order flow analysis techniques that we use. So now that we have our defined risk, which is basically a break of that bottom trend line and under that $12 DP, we can wait for volume confirmation to enter the trade. Price spikes and I enter the trade at 12.20. Let's see if Xnet can run above 12.25. Now at this point, we've identified that 12.25 is a very important level that needs to break. We know that if 12.25 doesn't break, those buyers are likely not to come back in. Come on, baby. Yes, give it to us. <clears throat> and now we're off to the races. We have a really great entry point and we're looking to hold price over $12. Okay, I have an entry at 12.20. That's my position right now. Hopefully this thing can run. There we go. Really nice trade here on Xnet. Concentrate on this one. Basically, just the classic triangle pattern breakout. Once we saw those buyers being a little aggressive, I jumped into the position um, at the break. So 12.20. And we could enter long once again at a break here. Nice bounce off of the VWAP there. This thing might actually run. So at this point I'm adding on to the trade. That trend line break was very key. We're holding above $12, we're holding above $12.10, which was a point of support, and we're holding above our entry point at $12.20. Oh, look at all the buying volume coming in there on Xnet. Now that we have confirmation that buying volume is indeed coming into the market, we look for an opportunity to add into the position. I'm getting in here, anticipating the break of 1250. Beautiful. Come on, tighten up that spread to the upside. Come on, don't spread out on me the downside. God damn it. 
Now that comment there is about something you're likely going to have to deal with quite a bit when you're trading stocks, especially stocks that have lower floats. The spread between the bid and the ask. Meaning if you were just to sell your position there at market, you'd be taking quite a hit because the spread is so large. Come on, break 1260. Yes. Nice. So what I'm looking to do here is actually pay myself as price reaches 1273. I want to take a little bit off of the position in case this thing turns around. Now, if you can't tell from here, let me draw the line for you. There's a possible bullish channel here. So it's a good opportunity to take some profit and protect yourself and let yourself hold on to the trade for longer. So Xnet is coming up for a break for sure here. All right, so at this point, the writing is all over the wall. Buying volume is increasing. We've had our third touch on that trend line and bounce. We're retaking that weekly VWAP. So I'm looking to add into the position here, really maximize the amount of profits that we're gonna be looking at if we do have a breakout over 1273. Nice. Okay, let's go. Looking for that 70 break, amazing. Keep running. Nice. Now this is the flag pattern breakout that we've been waiting for. We're beginning to run the stops above 1273. Sellers are beginning to question their position and buyers are adding to their position. This thing is really set to run away and we want to maximize the amount of money that we can make on this run. Over the HVN, which is great, but I'm willing to hold this one a bit and see if we can have a runner on our on our hands here. Thirteen twenty is what we need to break in order to really get up to those highs. Took some profits at twelve ninety and twelve ninety two. Taking some profits at that swing up allows me to hold the trade for longer. As we're looking to maximize the amount of time that we spend in the trade because we still think that the trade is going to be going higher. Look at the, on the left side, look at the point of control here growing. So we were going to need a rejection of 1271 basically. So we need this area right here, 1270 to reject. Look at that call. <laughs> Okay, took another little piece off there. Uh, 1320 seems to be a very strong high. Um, and now the rest here, I'm just gonna let run. Wow. And what you heard there was a sigh of relief as I knew the trade was won. I'm speeding up the video here so you can see the rest of the move. But what you should really have taken away from this video is the real mental struggle of being in a trade holding when every part of you says that you should be selling, having your money on the line, and then finally coming out the other side with profits. But as traders, we're always looking to improve. So this is how much of the move I actually captured out of the entire trading day. Tomorrow, I'll work on capturing the rest. Hey traders, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more content. Now, if you want to watch me trade live every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, join us in our live community at ActiveTraders.chat, the private network for active day traders. See you at ActiveTraders.chat.